Okay guys, in today's video, I will show you how to make user maps in this type of act. This, this is Transas. So first, uh, you need to click this task list. After that, click this maps. Okay. So from here, you can find the previous uh, user map that already saved on the act. This. Now, if you want to load, for example, this one, just click this box then this three button will appear you can delete it from here you can also load and put it into monitoring mode now the difference between the load and the monitoring if you click the load this user map will only appear on this screen but if you're going to put it into monitoring you click this monitoring the user map will appear on both uh at this at this one and at this two or master or uh, slaves and uh, the uh, user map is already in monitoring now let us uh, create a new one to create a new one just click this uh, box okay then click this create new map so Let us begin here in this uh, drop down list. So we have here a symbol, a line, a text, depth, and also shapes. So in symbol, you can choose here, for example, you choose this one. Okay? And you put here, right here, for example, rec. You can choose also the color. Okay? Let us choose this blue. Then after that, click this add object, okay, and click on the screen and you will see that the symbol are already there. Okay, let's uh, get another one, symbol, for example, this one, okay, and you put bone then click add object then click on the screen on the position you want it to appear okay so you have there the piece bone now let us do another example for example this line okay so you can choose from here this line then the color then click this add object then left click of the mouse then drag the uh, trackball then left click again then another right click then there you go you have now the line okay so let us make a new one for example this one okay and the color is magenta add object then left click then drag the trackball left click again then right click then there you go okay so let us take another example for example this text okay so if you want to uh, put for example one hour notice okay then click what color do you want then click this add object put the cursor on a place that you want that uh, one hour notice to appear for example here left click there you go one hour notice or you make a call master then click add object then left click then you have the call master okay let's take another example on the def okay so put for example spot sounding okay then you need to change this one okay for example the spot sound spot sounding is up 15 meters okay then add object then click on the screen so 15 spot 
object okay so for example spot object you put uh, uh, 5 15.5 then add object spot sounding there you go 15.5 so another here in shapes so we have here in drop down leaves at ellipse rectangle sector polygon and circle for example we will make a emergency anchorage okay so you write here emergency anchorage then choose a color then click this button the circle then put it on the right spot that you want to appear left click then drag the trackball then left click there you go emergency anchorage if you want to make it rectangle then go back shapes drop down list get the rectangle emergency anchorage then click this one then put it here okay there you go okay now if you want to move this one let's go on this uh, drop down list okay if you want to edit for example okay so for example you want to edit this uh, one hour notice okay you want to make it 1.5 hour notice then apply okay there you go okay so if you want to uh, to edit for example uh, call master okay call master uh, two hours okay prior arrival okay for example like that click apply there you go okay now if you want to shift the position just click the shift then put it there then move now the trackball okay so shift okay also this one okay okay now if you want to delete just press delete okay you can delete okay now if you want to make a uh, parallel index okay let's go here Okay, for example, this one, you want to make a parallel index, okay, and you want the line to be uh, parallel on this leg, okay, all you have to do is, okay, click the line, then choose the line and the color, then add object. If the bezel is going there, then your line should be going there also. Okay. So left click, then drag the trackball, then after that, um, press tab okay. until the tab, the cursor will go to bearing, then copy this one, 273.1, 273.1, then enter, enter until in apply, then left click, then left click again, then right click. Okay, there you are. This is uh, perpendicular to the leg. Okay, so all you have to do is just uh, shift it, click the shift, then move it. Okay, shift, then move. Okay, so if you are satisfied, then make another line. So, begin from here on your leg, left click, and drag the trackball. So, you just estimate if it is a 90 degrees. But before you uh, press the left click again of the mouse, you copy the bearing, also the range. Okay? So, 0, 0 0.1.3, then 2.40 nautical miles, then 
left click right click okay then put now the text okay you write parallel index equals zero zero one point uh, three then by two point forty nautical miles okay then add object then click here okay so you have because if you're not going to uh, use this one for example you're going to use the uh, uh, this one ERVL okay then you put it here then you drag it see sometimes the screen will move okay now there is another way for you to get the bearing and distance by using the divider much better to use this one than to ERVL because if ERVL the screen is sometimes moving but if the divider okay the screen uh, will stay like that okay so you can get now the bearing and the uh, range but it's it is better that you get the bearing like what exa what I did as an example just go direct here then add object okay then do like that then you can get now the range and bearing and left click and right click so there you go okay now if you are finished okay so okay save then uh, put the file name for example testing testing number one okay then click save you will notice that this one will change okay testing number one is already there now if you want to put this uh, user map into monitoring all you have to do is to click this side once you click this side, this uh, user map automatically is now in monitoring mode. Meaning to say, the user map is uh, appeared on this uh, ECDIS also to the other ECDIS. So just click this side. Okay, there you go. See the anchor uh, symbol appeared there. So. So that is how to make a user map. If you want to uh, close that user map, just uh, click this X. Okay. If you want to delete, just find it here. Then, uh, like what I said, when you tick here, okay, you can uh, delete it from here. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something from this video. Thank you.